we just got out of the theater for X-Men Apocalypse. Uh, what do you think? I thought it was okay. But I thought the Never mind, it's in the middle of the story. How about we just start talking? Bye. Yeah, um... This is fine. Um, it's... I kind of thought that Wolverine should have a little bit more time in the movie. He only was in one part. One part and he never said anything. He just went, Ugh. You see, <laughs> I almost <laughs> want to consider that a spoiler, except they, they did that in the trailer, so it's really not. Um, what do you mean? Well, you know... They, I saw they, the trailer and I don't remember that. Yeah, no, there's, there's a quick scene at the end of the second or third trailer that shows Wolverine's claws. Yeah. Uh, um, honestly, um, this franchise, I'm not sure how, how much steam it has left. And I know they just did a reboot, but it's like uh, they're still all connected. So we still have X they were X Men trilogy, X Men Origins Wolverine. And then, uh,. What was it after X-Men Origins Wolverine? Was it first class after that? <laughs> We're here in Slurpin, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, first class was probably the best one until Deadpool. Probably first class and Deadpool were by far the best. They're the more recent ones. Um, Days of Future Past. Lots of, I've gotten lots of shit from people who criticize me because I said Age of Ultron gave Age of Ultron the same rating as Days of Future Past. Honestly, if you forced me to choose one or the other, I'd probably pick Age of Ultron over uh, Days of Future Past. It, That's what Days of Future Past. That was the one where Wolverine goes back in time. You remember that? Oh yeah, I from remember a couple of years ago. that. Yeah, and that it's it's a good one. It's a really good one. Um. Honestly, I I found that Days of Future Past, I really enjoyed it the first time I watched it, but repeat viewings haven't been as kind to it. And I actually kind of found Age of Ultron, I left the theater kind of disappointed, and repeat viewings have kind of benefited it. Um, neither one is like the perfect movie by any stretch of the word, but they're all right. Um, they're both solid in my opinion. And this one's not as good. This one's maybe about as on par as uh, the very first X-Men movie back in 2000. Um, maybe a little better? I don't know. <laughs> that first X-Men movie's like not as much of a mess as this one. I mean, you're just hogging all the light. No, <laughs> I am not. It's not as much of a mess as this one, but is more um, well, but this right. one's more well done. It, it, honestly, that's the best way I could describe X-Men Apocalypse. <laughs> It is an absolute mess, but it's really a well-done mess for what that's what worth. What do you mean I'm hogging the light? I am not hogging the light. Well, you see, when you get really close, <laughs> the other person goes into shadow. <laughs> yeah, no, I understand. <laughs> but what, what are your thoughts on the movie? Try not to go spoiler. The Wolverine thing isn't much spoiler since they spoiled it. But um, what are your thoughts? My thoughts was that... I really liked it. Though I really thought the Wolverine should have at least been able to say something. <laughs> All he was doing was just... Arr, arr, Tell me, yeah. arr, arr. All he was doing was grunting. Mm. Going around killing people. <laughs> yeah. Um. This is fine. That's the best word I could use to describe it. This is fine. This is... <laughs> This is no this is no civil war. This is no Deadpool. But it's better than Batman v Superman for what that's worth. But I didn't even like that one. This is fine. This is Maybe I'll like it more repeat viewings. Maybe it'll be like Days of Future Past and I'll like it a little bit less. Right now, like I don't like to give ratings on my knee jerk reactions at all, which is <laughs> I've experimented with them, but I avoided them. If I had to give this one a rating, first viewing, <laughs> this is a 6 out of 10, which is, I don't know if I'd even recommend going to the theater and seeing it full price unless you had cheap theater, but that's like matinee price if you really want to see it type deal. That's it, really kind of the rating I give to a good rental. It's just, it's not particularly bad. It's just kind of a mess. And it's kind of all over the place. It doesn't feel as structured as, like, Civil War, which 
honestly should have been more of a mess than what it was. And what it was was just mildly messy. And it should have been more like this, where it was very messy, but was... Well, this is well done, entertaining mess. I know, this is such a reserved, like I'm giving it a mildly good review and then saying, you know, if you can hold back, maybe just rent it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> do you want to just do some spoiler talk now? Yeah, I really thought the Wolverine deserved a bit more credit. Yeah, Wolverine has a really small cameo, and I do have to say, um, I'm all for more Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. Which when I, and usually when I think of think of the X Men a lot, I don't know why, but I think of Wolverine with those claws. I have no idea why. I just do. Well, he's been like the star of like almost all the X Men movies. Yeah, I think that's why. With the exception mm -hmm. of First Class and this one. And now it's like, hey, what's going on? Are they kicking him out a movie? <laughs> well, uh, the, the, he's going to do a solo movie, I think, next year is his solo movie. And that's supposed to be a la his last, uh, the actor's last performance as Wolverine. There's going to be a new Wolverine? Possibly. I mean, I figure they'll probably recast it. The, Wolverine's one of the most popular comic book characters out there. They'll recast him. But, um... Because if they don't yeah. recast someone... He won't be on TV again. Yes, I remember where I was where I was at before I got a uh, uh, sideline. Um, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine is not particularly comic book accurate, but I love his portrayal of Wolverine. His take on it, I love it. There's a problem with it though, and this movie kind of highlights it. Where in this movie he is just the berserker rage Wolverine. And that I felt Hugh Jackman's not so strong with the, the Berserker Rage Wolverine. I never felt like he was... He has moments of being a Berserker, but he doesn't go as insane as Wolverine would like in the comic book. And that's all we get in this movie. We just get Berserker Rage Wolverine. It's not a great fit for him. We don't get him calm. Yeah, yeah, just barely at the end. He still doesn't say anything. Yeah, it's like... <sighs> We're waiting for you to say something. And they they throw a lot of, they throw a lot of characters in here, and I'm not really sure if they know what to do with them. I am acting like I am acting like Princess Leia saying, "Well, mm. Wolverine, you are my only hope. Please mm. talk." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but anyways, um. They throw a lot of characters in here. They don't. I don't get the sense they really know what to do with a lot of these characters. Angel becomes Archangel and then dies. Um, at least if he's not dead, it's strongly implied he's dead. He looked pretty messed up. Um, who else? Yeah, they oh, kill I off Havoc. Just, I was wondering who that was. Yeah, they, <laughs> they, and they don't... Like, Angel's supposed to be a rich kid, and this guy was, like, in backroom brawls with Nightcrawler. It's like, what happened? <laughs> Of course, does Angel even have any lines in this movie? I think he does talk a little, but no, he doesn't have much. Um, I don't even remember him talking at all. Storm is pretty much just sidelined to a bad guy, and I guess she turns because Apocalypse attacks Mystique, and they establish that Storm's a huge fan of Mystique. Mystique gets way more uh, screen time than I would expect. Essentially... In the middle of the movie, Apocalypse kidnaps Charles Xavier, and then she kind of becomes... <laughs> that looks cute. Um, she becomes the leader of the X-Men, the de facto leader of the X-Men, and it's like, um, no, wow. No, no, I'm not hugging anything. No, I'm not hugging anything. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's visible. <laughs> there, there. There, there. But yeah, um... <laughs> She becomes a really... It's an invisible voice. Man, it's getting hard for you to get spots out on the movie. <laughs> oh, but yeah, she's she's there and she's very prominent, even though Mystique, Mystique was never... A, I don't even recall her ever being an X-Men. She was a villain, always. But in the, because Jennifer Lawrence is so popular, they're going to go ahead and make her a major character in these movies. I think she even announced that this would be her last movie, and I'm actually grateful for that. I think she's a great actress, but...
but she's been because she's Mystique and she's kind of a minor character. She's been hogging these movies, and I want to see the the someone besides Mystique. And honestly, I love Michael Fassbender's Magneto. I love Ian McKellen's Magneto. I would Adrian like to see another villain like Apocalypse. As soon as it got on a ship. What was that? My dream just shrunk, shrunk. As soon as it got on this, my my dream just shrunk. As soon as it got on this ship. What ship? <laughs> my dream. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have always wanted Mystique to be a good character. Oh, okay. Well. And now it's like, is this last movie? Movie is finally a good character. It just makes me sad. Why? I've oh, that she's not coming back? I've always wanted Mystique to be a good character. <laughs> really? She is a good character. Relax, honey. <laughs> she's not going to be in the movie anymore. Well, there are plenty of other girl characters. I'm certain they'll do more Jean Grey. Jean Grey? Who is Jean Grey? I only know Jean, but who is Grey? Jean Grey? That's her last name. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I remember her last name that much. I don't think it was Jean, 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 Jean. I only think of her as Jean, not Jean Grey. Yeah, you know Jean, the lead singer of Kiss? No. <laughs> oh, what is that? Kiss is a rock band, but... <laughs> oh, boy, we've gone off. We've gone off on a tangent, haven't we? Uh, did you want to do favorite characters? Yes. Who is your favorite character? Charles Xavier. My favorite character, Charles Xavier. Ugh. God, there's so many, and, and I like to get a whole lot of screen time between them. I mean, they do all right. <sighs> Ugh, maybe Xavier. Xavier was good. Professor Charles Xavier. <laughs> My favorite character was Wolverine, <laughs> even though Hugh Jackman's not good at the Berserker stuff, no. <laughs> Um, my favorite character was Psylocke because of all the costumes to get comic book accurate. Holy crap. No. <laughs> you alright? I'm just I'm seeing things here. I'm seeing little clouds and I'm like, what's going on here? Are you Why tired? Why are there clouds? <laughs> She's tired, I guess. It is, uh, 10.06. I didn't say my favorite character is, and then we should wrap this up because we've gone off on so many tangents. Um, I genuinely don't know. I guess I have to go with Xavier, but I don't know. Beast. I'll go with Beast. Beast was awesome. Um, not as a major character in this one, but, you know, he's there. Um, any final thoughts? No. That Wolverine needed more credit. Mm hmm. He needs more credit. Here's my rousing recommendation. I recommend you go see this movie or don't. Or, uh, you know, you go out and rent Deadpool. See it. Deadpool is pretty see good. It. See, <laughs> it. see it. See it. See it. Hey, when this comes see out on video, it. I recommend you it. rent it or see check it out on Netflix. See it. See it. It's a strong see it. recommendation. See it. <laughs> see it. <laughs> I got my hands all the way in space. <laughs> you can't say no to that. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess in a cup. Well, no. Probably tomorrow we'll see Alice through the Looking Glass. So I'll have that video up soon. I don't know if I'm gonna make that a YouTube video or a Patreon exclusive video. I haven't fully decided yet. I was pretty much strongly deciding Patreon exclusive, but. Uh, Guess maybe if throw, people throw in comments saying they want to see it, uh, they'd watch Alice Through the Looking Glass Knee Jerk Reaction comment, and uh, we'll post that one up on YouTube too. Um, otherwise, Marvel vs. DC Part 2 should be coming out in a few days. I'm almost done and with it. And now that I think about it, Mystique hasn't been in that much movies. Now she's not going to be in a movie again. Well, she was in. She's been in six X Men movies. What do you mean? She was in I the don't first really trilogy. I remember her in the first one. She was in the first trilogy, and then she was in First Class, Days of Future Past, and this one. So she's I been in most of them. I remember her in the first movie. Which which one are you calling the first movie? The first. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. You mean the one with Rogue and Wolverine and? Uh... I mean, like when they all became the X Men. Do you mean like first class? 
No! Not first class! So the one where Rogue and Wolverine go and join the X-Men? I mean the first X-Men movie. That is the first one with Rogue and Wolverine going okay, to join the okay, X-Men. Okay. <laughs> That's the only one I remember. Okay. Oh, and did you know that for a little bit... They... Um... Magneto and Mystique were in the Wolverine, but they decided not to be. I actually remember that. Because they thought that the gods was a word that they were on the wrong side. They were fighting for the wrong side. Hey, what is that in front of my face? That is your hair. That is <laughs> no, your hair. No, no, this is a word of a, Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Yeah. Um, oh my. Magneto and Mystique were supposed to be in the Wolverine? What'd you say? I'm so confused. Magneto and Mystique were supposed to be in the Wolverine? <laughs> I never said that. I never said that. Uh, <laughs> maybe I'm hearing things now. I um, never said that. We better wrap this up, so bye. All I said was... I actually think they... Magneto and Mystique, the way the wolf, jo <laughs> I almost said it! <laughs> Magneto and Mystique actually did join the X-Men for a little bit, but decided not to. Okay. In the first one. In the first movie! Yeah, no, that's first class. That's actually like the, the eighth one. <laughs> I don't know. You told me that there were only six... <laughs> No, there's six with Mystique. Oh! No. <laughs> no, how? Well, 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 first class, okay. I want to say first class is like. You no, know, maybe that's only the fifth one. Is that only the fifth one? I think that's only the fifth one now that I think about it. Okay, now, now, oh God, these time, this timeline's all messed up. Maybe this timeline should just be junked and they should just do some sort of crisis thing so they can keep Michael Fassbender and James McAvoy and merge with the MCU. Because this is getting confusing. Okay, so there's X-Men 1. I know I said it's ending, but right now I want to sit down and figure out these X-Men movies. Okay, so there's X-Men 1. There's X-2. There's... X-Men... What is that? The Last Stand. X-Men Last Stand. And X-Men Origins Wolverine. First class. So first class is the fifth one. And then The Wolverine. And then Days of Future Past. And then just this year we got Deadpool and This Apocalypse. So there's nine X-Men movies. If you count Deadpool, you, you can or can't. I guess you would have to. Cause... Why would you count Deadpool? Because there are X-Men in that. But not. <laughs> you know, the Wolverine isn't called X Men either, but <laughs> okay. Well, she's gone kind of nuts, and I'm think I'm hearing things of, of what she's saying. So, uh, bye. <laughs>if you like this video please make sure to hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe that helps me out a lot and if you really love this video consider visiting my patreon page 